okay, this is very random. I decided to uh, open one of my books, and um, you, you go through a page, page in a book, and just randomly pick uh, whatever I end up at on a chapter. So it just leads me to it, so it led me to it. The book I'm reading out of, this is off the top. I just somebody just told me to start reading, called The Initiation, by Elizabeth Hayek. Okay, I have, I'm gonna do is chop a lot of this up. I got Maltese. Watch for the elbow. Watch for the elbow. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Day uh, Daylight for that. You know, he said watch for the elbow. It's like Maltese. I'm going into multiple books. Okay, multiple subjects within uh, a bar. So okay, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. All right. The form of the pyramids. Satan. Okay. All right. We can all read it. This is chapter 33. Hmm. It's crazy. He said, uh, I'm amazing. Daylight did. He said, I'm 33, I'm 33 degrees higher. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. 33 degrees higher. He said, he said, Yeah, what y'all don't get it? A Snapchat fish, Snapchat filter. I dog whoever I'm facing. Think about it. He said, I'm he said, I'm 33 degrees higher. I'm a Mason. Look, 33. But there's nothing wrong with uh, if you have an understanding of uh, Satan and the pyramids and uh, the number 33, as long as you have information on it. But you can't let uh, certain uh, entities get to you. Um, so they can do certain things. But information is information. Okay, let's get right into it. Wow. Okay. Once again, right so you can see it. Once again, okay. I'm gonna focus this. Oh, because I have the, the book turned backwards as well to the side. Okay. Once again, I stand before Patal Hotep in his laboratory. Let's go. Let's go. I wanna run. I've already explained to you, he says. I don't want to turn this light on. I must get right to it. <clears throat> I've already explained to you, he says, that behind all the manifestations of the visible world, there is a primordial force, ah, the great nothingness. So when the light or the sun comes around, what's always there, the darkness. So that which is first and watching his sun run around, the, the sun might run around this motherfucker, but he don't run shit in this motherfucker. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's one of the quotes um, from Bobby Hammond. He said that. So we have to come from something dark, primordial. So let's listen. Is a primordial force. Okay, let's get right to it. A striving, a striving to return to the state of unity. This force is apparent as attraction between the two complementary halves the positive and the negative you are now standing before me as uh, you know this person is talking to Patah Hotel because the earth's gravitational force is holding your body here it is holding your body here if it weren't for this force you and everything that is not rooted to the earth would have spun off into space long ago. Even the whole gigantic body of the earth. Would have broken apart long ago. The force which holds together the earth and all 
the matter within its atmosphere doesn't belong to the earth itself, but merely affects the earth operating outward from its center. If matter had no resistance and merely yielded its, this force, the tremendous mass of the earth, the earth and everything that's living on it would disappear into the center. But where would it go? Think for a moment. So I'm closer, my child. I show you. If I put various things on the top of this table, tie a string on, tie a string onto each draw, um, drawn, draw the draw the strings from the hole in the middle of the tabletop, and then put all the strings from below all. The objects are drawn towards the center of the tabletop, and all things that are smaller than the hole disappear. Where do they go? Aren't they drawn towards the point from which the force is acting? But where does the force in the center of the earth come from? The force that draws everything towards it can you answer that my child i reflect for a moment and answer the earth is recognizable if everything that is recognizable 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 is only because it has separated itself from the all hmm. by what matter all nothingness see leaving its complementary half behind in the unmanifested state. Then the earth, too, must have its complementary half in the, unman in, in the unmanifested, unmanifested state. So that means you're somewhere else outside of this physical. You're just controlling this physical, okay? All that to say that. And the force of gravitation it exerts on all the on all the creatures and objects living on it is the striving for reunification between the earth and its unmanifested complementary half which has been left behind. And let's see that left behind. Think about it. What's going on with everything with uh, the so-called virus? I call it the so-called virus. A lot of people that can't when when this this dimension is going to a higher state, and a lot of people are dying in these areas. Now think about that. Think about it. See, let me when they say left behind, you you're witnessing a rapture, a, a spiritual rapture. Rapture. They say they tell people not to go to the church. Think about that. Why would they tell people not to go to the church? You have some people that are light. And so I understand if you look up the word basilisk. They actually mentioned that in also Harry Potter uh, movie. I don't have it in front of me. But the Harry Potter movie, they mentioned that too. Also, I read that in the book from... Um, hold on. I think I got it. Like Bobby Emmett say, when you uh, are able to... Um, See, the word, I'm going to get right to the subject, basilisk, basilisk, the egg on page 113 and the the index, he said, Bobby, brother Bobby Hemmings said, go into that index. So after I read it, I stumbled upon it. I said, make a marker. If you got an index, make a marker of it. So I said, okay, I remember that basilisk and I found out what it was. It's amazing. So this is what this leads to. Oh, I'm going to show you what book I'm reading out of. I never uh, read out of something, but I always let you see what I'm um, reading. The, uh, the the name of the book and also from the author. So you see right here, oh, I went back to the index and made a note of it. Um, Basilisk. So I can I have a video about that too also. Uh, so make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut right to it though. Basilisk. B a s b a s i l i s k. 
egg. Page 113, the book I'm in is, make sure I get it in the light, Magic Without Tears by Aleister Crowley. Oh, that's crazy. I just read that when it was 1010. If you know what 1010 is, the Necronomicon. Watch the movie, uh, pretty much Alien vs. Predator. Uh, yeah, Alien vs. Predator. You see that. But, um, intro introduction by Israel Regard Regardi. He actually leaves the notes and things that were kind of put together through, like, an uh, interview form. So, um, I believe it was a female interviewing him pretty much through certain letters. And he, he just giving him comment, his comments. And Israel Regardi uh, did some books uh, dealing with him. Uh, and he also put something together right here. So it's introduced, but it's put together. Uh, introduce, see, introduced and edited. Make sure I show you. A personal correspondence. Let me get right to it so you can see it. Introduction and edited by Israel Regardi. See? Edited, put it together. Get right to it. Right to the page. Just give me the light. And press the, the book. On the door. <laughs> All right. These are a couple of notes. When I found this, uh, see? Not, not lying. Page 113. It's a lot of information I got to it. Oh, there it is. I want to chop right to it. The egg of the spirit. Okay, it is a basilisk egg. It's powerful. Powerful word. See? The basilisk egg. When I was reading, like, what's some told me to figure out? I'm gonna be trying, I've been making dench and dentions so I can always go back. See? Apophis, Typhon. They're dealing with it. The great, see? Understanding is not. Not you saw it. Not you see it. Oh, thou art master of the fifty gates of understanding. Is not my mother a a black woman? Hold on. Wait a minute. The angel reappears. Hold on, player. So what you mean? Why? Why is Alice calling the the uh? The, uh, the most diabolical man or the most uh, insane and uh, heinous man in the world. Listen, what did he just say again? Ch 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 so, what did Alistair Crowley just say again? Now, he, I, I've, I've, I've never got this, like Brother Bobby Hemmett says, I've never gotten to see this book. Nobody ever has this book. It's a, that's like one of the only books from Alistair Crowley that's not out is... The Atlantis book by Alistair Crowley is like a white cover with like blue writing on it. Man, that, that shit is nowhere to be found. That's not like the only book, you, brother Bobby. It is say that. I'm like I've been looking everywhere. Like you got, you really got to have some money to like to find that book. That book, he says, the the uh, melanated woman, so called black woman, is is Atlantis. Oh, all right. Now check this out. What he used to say, the egg of the spirit. Let me get back to it. I know I just just read it. We on the abyss again. Remember with with uh, uh, Scissor had said at the end of her album, you know, her, her mother had said, "I don't want to misquote anyone." Uh, Scissor's the uh, the singer. Her mother at the end of her album said, "I want to be in an abyss." He said, "I." I I'd rather keep keep on just dreaming this dream. But we're we're in a dream. So if you was in your most primordial state, your most primordial, why would you in your strongest? See, this is what's going on. It's going backwards. Uh oh. If you were in matter, the ones that wasn't really in tune with your matter, but you you knew how to control your control your matter. Uh oh. On a higher spiritual level. Uh oh. What's happening? You like it's pretty much a rapture. So check this out. Oh, thou art master of the fifty gates of understanding. Is not my mother 
a black woman. Oh, thou art master of the pentagram. Is not the ache of the soul and low. Even I, the pentagram, pretty much is a symbol of melanin. And, it, you know, it can be different types of stars. Uh, even low. Even I, who am the soul like a spark. Shut up. See? Transformers. Remember the movie Transformers? We are a spark. We don't, is it not making the matter matter? They say mind over matter. That's the reason why you're... Your head is okay. Thinking with your head, see, okay. Your mind. Let's stay. Spark, shut up. Stand in the side, sign of Apophis and Typhon, the great, the great dragon, Typhonian current. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna waste too much time. I gotta stay focused. I'm gonna get to another book, just, just like it. I. Multis. I got multis. I got multis. The Dark Lord. I'm back in this book again. Here we go. Look. H.P. Lovecraft. Oh. Kenneth Grant. See, I give you the literature so you can go see it yourself. See? Everybody in the house. See? I'm, I'm showing you. Oh. Y'all nervous about something. I mean, you ain't right. If you got wearing all these masks, you understand. You don't understand. HP. This is what this is. This is a, I'm going to go ahead and just drop the bomb, the atom bomb. It's a spiritual uh, virus. That's why they try to keep people away from each other. This social distancing is the ones that's with the light. And now they're doing the census. Think about it. Want to see where, who's, where everybody is at. Who's who in the lands. Hmm? Census at this time, everybody's in the house. Now you now you know but hey, nobody's on the street. Hmm? Okay. Okay. The Dark Lord. H. P. Lovecraft. Kenneth Grant and the Typhonian tradition in magic by Peter Lavender. This is like a compilation of all of these different authors. <laughs> the Dark Lord. Mind you his forehead. I don't want to get get into it too much. That's Libra. Uh oh. What that mean? It's it's time for something. See, keep people away. Keep the certain energies away from certain energies. But they in, but when they come to you, if you want a, a certain level um, in your mental of not knowing, uh, not really caring about matter, the, the light will be drawn to each other. Steel, shock and steel. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Matter draws to each other. Um, the, the force, gravitation, use the force. And it, being you and yourself gravitates you into something because other light beings will be drawn to each other. I, 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 check it out. Back in this book again. For the same part for the basilisk. I for the typhoon. I am the snake, uh oh, Kundalini, that devoureth the spirit of man with the, the lust of, of light. I am the sightless storm in the night that wrappeth the world about with desolation. See? There's another book, 718, the desolate one. Hmm. <laughs> What uh, what to say? <laughs> Shout out to uh, Dick Gregory, man. Hmm. Hmm. Desolation. Hmm. Chaos. Hmm. You sitting there looking at me like you don't know what's going going on. It's happening to change. Dick Gregory sips uh sips smoothie. <laughs> Or whatever he's drinking in that cup. <laughs> Peace and power to Dick Gregory, man. Peace. It's got the it's, it's changing, man. <laughs> you sit there with your hands in your pants, looking crazy. The war is on. It's on, man. The war is on. The spiritual war is on. All right. 
They don't understand it, man. To listen, the chaos, you have chaos magic, is my name. And thick darkness, know that thou, the darkness of the earth is ruddy and the darkness of the air, the basilisk egg. Rose, the abyss. You can look these up. Key to the abyss. See? Look these up. These are subjects you can look up. The crucified one hung. See? What was about to happen with Easter? Here still hangs the crucified one. The body is the cross. Uh-oh, Brother Bobby. I remember he put us on to that. See? Hangs the crucified one. Remember Terrell Owens when he had did that on the Dallas Star? And then he played for the Eagles and he got injured. By the person that pulled him down was uh, something Williams uh, played for the Sooners, pulled him backwards, and he still played the Super Bowl, but they lost. He was, but it was it was the wrong time for it. It was supposed to happen, but it was the wrong time. But back to this: let the darkness cover me. Watch this. I got multis. Uh oh, a little time left. The message. The message of. The Sphinx, a quest for the legacy of mankind. Robert Graham, Robert, uh, Robert Bouval. Graham Hancock, excuse me. Robert Bouval. Remember I told you in my last video, you can't have, uh, uh, you can't have Easter until that full moon. The full moon just passed. The pink moon, see? How everything is uh, located facing, uh, facing due east. See? Direction of summer solstice. Look, spring, spring equinox just passed. Rahakut, uh, Horakti, see? Canis Major has been passing over, see? People can't just do it. Why they been trying to spray all these chemtrails? Can't do it. See, they can't make it. It's a gate. It's a gate, see? It's a gate. It's a gate. See what I'm saying? You see Horus sitting in the front. The Horus King. The Sphinx. Faces due east. Comes from the sun, but it's at something greater. See? Gate folding door. The door that folds in the mind. If you can't make it spiritually, 